Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. Ooh, I'm looking at all the metrics here on the on Facebook. That is odd. Hi, uh, Zoe Bexo. <laughs> Zoe Bexo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today on the coffee break. Hi, Vintage Locket. I'm saying hi to the people on Instagram that are here earlier than the people on Facebook or the people on YouTube. But anyway, today is Friday, September 2nd. I just noticed I haven't changed my calendar. So Friday, September 2nd, and like every Friday, we have learning the card of the day. And I'm using the Rider Way Smith, obviously. So what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks is I use the, the black deck to pick up the card. And then we go for the traditional Rider Way Smith to see the, the symbols and the meanings. So let's see what card we have for the weekend Ooh, we have the hermit this is one of those um mayor kind of cards and the meaning will be to be quiet to find solace in solitude to keep the faith and really important to not be telling things or saying things that you probably shouldn't or that don't serve you at this moment so as you can see the negative card is just you know the black tarot is just like a negative for those of us who remember photographic um, art from back in the day where you needed the pictures negative to see the art i'm sure you remember and doll no i cannot bring you into my live video but thank you for asking and thank you for watching and hi janet janet is here on facebook as always thank you janet for your support always so we have the card of a hermit and it basically says um be quiet find solitude so find support on your faith and the light within i i can never put the card on this side because then i have to do this for instagram so i have to hold it like this so how do we come up with the message of solitude and introspection on this card by the way i always when i teach about this uh card oh don't don't worry angel it's all right um so we have the the old man let's see if you can oh my goodness facebook almost 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 gets it it's an old man that has his eyes close so eyes close on the tarot always mean introspection or messages from within and in this case is the ultimate card of introspection he's also very covered with this clock clock and he has a staff and a lantern and the staff is you know for support and balance to be connected with the earth as well but the lantern is made of a star there's a star inside the little lantern let me see if i can show you it's a star and the star is always going to represent on the tarot it represents divine light or the presence of the divine divine enlightenment um I'm, it's so hot in here so anywho 
So why, why do we interpret this as introspection? Because the hermit, as you, if you know, if you're familiar with the word, um, a hermit is a person that lives by themselves, like on the mar on the mountains or in caves, um, kind of like the monks. I think we're more familiar with the word monk or the concept of monks uh, being isolated in mountains and kind of being in caves. So that's what this guy represents, you know, that kind of isolation, solitude, but not loneliness. That is a very important concept because solitude is being with yourself and being content, being with yourself, actually finding enlightenment and talking to God or the divine or whatever it is that you want to call it. And loneliness is what we feel when we are surrounded by people, but we are not being acknowledged or we're not um, creating um, bonding experiences or we're not validated or we're looking at validation from society and we are not getting it. So that's when you get lonely. And this guy is not lonely. He is enjoying his time in solitude because he is connected with higher self or self or God or whatever you want to call that energy, that force, it which gives us life and wisdom and enlightenment. I call it goddess. You call it whatever you will. Buddha, Allah, Krishna, Jesus, um, Donatsin, Ometeo, Kukulkan, whatever you call that force, this person is finding it within them. So why do we go from that meaning of, of solitude, isolation, and enlightenment to being quiet? Well, because hermits are usually quiet. They're by themselves. They're attaining wisdom, and they have no need to be talking or gossiping or bringing the news, you know, the latest news on the, on the, on the cave <laughs> to everybody. And uh, I'm looking for the other Oracle and they're all under my table, but I cannot find it. I think it's going to be the last box. Nope. Okay. I guess no Oracle for you today. Where is it? Ha! Ah, I found it. So <laughs> we, we are going to have an oracle. I'm running out of room. For those who have been watching this series for forever, you know my, my desk is super tiny. I made the mistake of changing desks, and this one is very, very small. And it has a little um, shelf under the keyboard, which is where I keep my, my decks, um, both oracles and, and tarot. But sometimes, you know, it's hard to see. I cannot see, so I have just to feel with my hands. So anyway, <coughs> Saturday I will be at Plant Chicago on their farmer's market from 11 to 3. And Sunday I will be at the Pilsen Community Market from 10 to 4. Um, one is in back of the yards on Marshall. Uh, Marshfield, 4450 Marshfield, I think, is the old uh, firehouse. And the other one is in Pilsen at 18th and Blue Island, what is called the Plaza Tenochtitlan. All right. So let's see what Oracle we have. Ooh, we have empathy. It's funny because one is talking about solitude, and this one has a whole lot of people surrounding a glove with an angel and some dolphins there. But let's see what empathy has to say. Empathy. There it is. You are holding on to prejudice about someone, something, or possibly yourself. As that you break through to see the universal perspective of this and to celebrate the oneness of all. You are holding on to prejudice about someone, some, something, or possibly yourself, 
as I break through to see the universal perspective of this and to celebrate the oneness of all. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I will see you Monday. Yes, I will be here on Monday. I know it's Labor Day. I'm still going to be here on Monday. <laughs> you know, it takes a whole 10 minutes out of my day. It's not a big deal. So I will see you Monday with uh, Terra for the Week, Wednesday with Oracles, and Friday we're learning the card of the day. If you are at Back of the Arts on Saturday, I will see you at Plant Chicago's Community Market. If not, I will see you Sunday at the Pilsen Community Market. And until then, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.